in a world of monsters, war and death, magic, hate and unnaturally hot women, there is only one man who can do anything. Geralt, an 86 year old monster fucker with an 86 year old daughter with the height and feist of Gimli. And then there's this guy, Vesemir, he's like Geralt's 86 year old granddad or something. And we're looking for Geralt's hot young cross Yennefer, but she's into some weird shit. So, the game starts with this man screaming at the camera, as if I've just killed his entire family and is now against me. Fortunately for me, he takes his anger out on this horse, as if this horse just killed his entire family and is now against it. It then cuts to Geralt and his granddad touching the ground. Then Yennefer breaks a branch, then Geralt sees it, then Yennefer jumps on a horse and pisses off. Then it does this unnaturally seamless transition from the cinematic to an in-game cutscene, like, it, it just looked way too good. Like, 2015? Like, Anyway, we then watch Gerald as he sleeps, then Geralt spreads in front of the camera, then this crab does what we all want to do and Ghost grabs onto his steel sword, if you know what I mean. We then pan to a naked Yennefer, who apparently created the crab. Wait, does, does that mean she commanded the crab or like controlled it? Because if she controlled it, then she went to grab... Huh. Anyway, we go find out Grandad forgot to take his pills and is now lying dead on the chair. Then we go find this little girl called Siri who is doing insane acrobatics that I couldn't do even at my current age. After I skip the tutorial because of my pure gaming skill and prowess, she runs away. Yep, then this massive ship appears and a guy who is a mix of Jack Sparrow and Darth Vader, Jack Vader, he turns everyone to ice and kills Siri. Oh no, not the character I met one minute ago. Geralt woke up, shaken by the events that had just occurred in his dream. I had the option to tell Vesemir about the dream, but I was a bit too embarrassed to tell him. <laughs> he decided to sniff the letter we were sent by Yennefer, as if that would fucking help us. Someone put him back on his pills, please, I beg. It's, it's not that hard, just give him the pills. Then, all of Grandad's sniffing led some ghouls over to us. After flexing my insane gymnastic abilities on these kids, we rode off. We found this guy hiding under his cart while being attacked by a goddamn griffin. After scaring the griffin off, we made him pay us, not for the work, but for that atrocious haircut. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh my lord. Then I rode off to do side quest stuff. I found this guy who was looking for his brother after he had gone off to war. We went on a search using the man's dog to sniff his brother out. We found him bleeding to death in a cabin with one of his enemies. I was going to do the bad option, but some fucking kindness in my heart meant I did the opposite. Then I went to this crypt, slaughtered a few ghosts, pillaged some corpses, etc, etc. I forgot to record this next bit, but I met up with Vesemir and we rode to the nearby village. He, he had hurt himself in the griffin fight, despite it spanning a whopping 10 seconds and him standing completely still and doing nothing. Anyway, we went to the nearby tavern where we were given lore that I don't give a fuck about. I walked around the tavern to see if anyone knew where Yennefer had gone. I found this bold guy who knew everything about me, like I was some famous celebrity and they were my stalker. I was told she went to this camp. After stepping outside, these guys tried to jump me. The only jumping they did was onto the ground after I beat them. After that, I rode to the camp, where I offered to go kill the griffin. I was told to find a herbalist and a hunter. Nothing interesting happened at the herbalist, but when I went to the hunter, I helped kill some wild dogs. I killed them and he led me to broken trees and blood. I followed a trail of footprints from the pile of blood up to the top of a cliff where I found a dead griffin. It was unfortunately not the one I wanted to kill, but it meant I could study the griffin and conclude information about the mate, which was the one I was trying to kill. I then ran off to do side quest stuff. I met this old lady by her house. Turns out she had lost her pattern because it had been taken by someone in the middle of the night. She told me a story on how she had been visited, and apparently he asked for her pattern, in which she agreed. The next day, another man appeared at the cabin, but only one of them ended up leaving, and she hadn't gotten her pan back. She was trying to get in, but to no avail. I then fussed Rodard into the house, and after investigating, I found the pan was completely clean, and the soot on the pan was used to write letters. After giving the lady her pan back, I set off to do the main quest. I then left that storyline, whatever it was, in the dust. I gathered the herbs required to bait the griffin, and met up with Vesemir. We set a trap in the middle of a field and waited till morning. The griffin took the bait as expected and an epic battle ensued.
It's fast! Come on! Like that silver. I then went to collect my reward and travelled back to the tavern. This girl then tried to 1v1 the barkeep, not knowing there are two witches to fight back. Then some guy tries to join the fight and I kill them. Then Yennefer arrives and we travel to Vizima. I was forced to get in a bath, much to the dismay of my inner discord mod. I then met with the king and turns out that I had kidnapped his daughter. I then made an agreement with Yennefer to hunt down this child.